There's about 90 days left in 2025. And if you want to be on your path to making your first $100,000 in 2026 from AI, I've got the video for you. In this video, I'm covering the six paths you absolutely can take to make your first $100,000 from AI in 2026, and a special one that I think you can make 10 times that easily, and nobody's paying attention to it. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt. Welcome back to 100 Days of AI. For the last 71 days, I've published a video every day all about AI, technology, tools, tips and tricks, methodologies, and mindset around how we all can up-level ourselves in this world of AI. And today, we're talking about making money because it is my favorite thing ever. I love AI, but I love business first. It's my sport, if you will. Go to the gym, keep myself healthy, but business is my sport. And in the last 71 days of doing a video about AI, I've learned a ton about the space and ways to make money and ways not to make money. So I've ranked these from worst to best. Stick around to the end because an absolute kind of outlier opportunity is there for you. But let's get started with number one, which is AI education, AI communities, AI courses, teaching people about AI. And you might go, Craig, that's kind of being two-faced, right? Because your channel for the last 71 days has been all about AI and you're making educational content about AI. Well, you know what? I'm not monetizing this at all. I literally have absolutely nothing to sell you. I don't have courses. I don't have coaching. I don't have uh, a course about AI. Like there's nothing for me to sell you here. I just want to do this to immerse myself in AI and give you as much value as I can. There absolutely are people making a ton of money in things like school courses and communities about AI. And I think this is really hard because you always have to be re reinventing the wheel. AI is changing by the day. Your course on, you know, Opus 4.1 is going to be, you know, is already obsolete, right? Sonnet 4.5 came out and Opus 4.1 just isn't used anymore. So you have to go create a whole new thing. You know, I run a SaaS business called Castos and the thought of reinventing our product on a whim every month or something is just like heartbreaking to me. And so I think this was a great opportunity two years ago. And there's a lot of people out there, Nate Herc and, and these guys who are making a ton of money from AI, community and education. I think largely that ship has sailed. I think it's much harder these days to make money from just education because it's so readily available. The opportunity uh, kind of differential is just not there anymore. So while I think this is definitely a way to do it, it's not the best. Okay, number two, which I actually like quite a bit, I just think it's not very defensible, is GPT wrappers. And by this, I mean making your own software. The last four videos on this channel, we talked about kind of vibe coding a little SaaS tool. So you can go to catalyst.craighewitt.com and see this accountability buddy I've made that helps you kind of stay accountable to your goals. Vibe coded it all in Cursor uh, and Claude Code, and it's live out there, and I'm not a developer. So like literally anyone can do this. The reason I think there's so much opportunity is it, it's just like software and SaaS especially is such a great business model. That That's what pays the bills and, and my mortgage and keeps my kids in school here. Uh, my business, Castos, is a multi kind of seven figure business. It's an amazing business, SaaS, the business model. The problem I think, and why I don't rank this higher is defensibility, right? Like if anyone can do it, then it's not that great of a business model. And you're already seeing this in the secondary market where people go to sell their SaaS business and the multiples that buyers like private equity are willing to pay is less because the value of handcrafting this piece of software is less because just a guy like me with Claude Code can do it. Now, can I do it as well as a seasoned, you know, 20 year veteran senior developer? No. Can I make 10 grand a month? A hundred percent. And so if you're if you're kind of a technically product minded person, this is the path for you. Just know you probably want to get in and get out pretty quick. It's not the thing you're going to do for the next 10 years of your life. Okay, the third one here, I don't hear anyone talking about this, and I love this concept, is monetizing your own AI persona. So podcasting, uh, social content, YouTube, right? You create an AI version of yourself, create a whole bunch of content, and then monetize that with ads. Uh, I'm in the podcasting space, my business Castus I mentioned. In the podcasting space, there's an agency out of Europe that's creating like thousands of podcast episodes a day right now. And so I look at that and I'm like, cool, that is kind of like the first one, which is like AI education, but just general education. So like my favorite podcast is, uh, it's called The Rest is History. Two British guys talking about history. Imagine 
you have access to all of the knowledge in the world through Claude or ChatGPT. You could create hundreds of history podcasts a day and put them out there. Use Eleven Labs, create Claude, use Claude to create a script, uh, and just automate the whole thing with N8N or something. You, you 100% could do this and then just monetize it with ads. It's like the AdSense kind of farm content from back in like the 2000s, just in YouTube and podcast format uh, and social, right? 100% this is uh, a thing. So again, if like you're like, eh, education's not my thing, SaaS is not, and software is not my thing, but content is my thing, this might be for you. I don't like it because I think a lot of platforms are gonna start cracking down on this, but you have a window of time. You probably have 12 months to do this. So if you're like, hey, I wanna go make 100 grand next year, you could definitely make 100 grand doing this. Okay, so I wanna stop here and just say like, hey, if you're enjoying this kind of content, the, the only thing I would ask of you is to subscribe, right? It gives great signals to YouTube. Hey, this is really great content. Uh, it makes me feel really good, <laughs> but also it lets you get the next at least 29 days of 100 days of AI. And I already have some amazing stuff planned for after my 100 days are up, a whole new series I'm putting together right now, and it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna help you transform your AI knowledge, your life, and your business in a really significant way. I'm super excited about it. So if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. Okay, the next one is probably the easiest way overall to make 100 grand in 2026 from AI, and that is a done-for-you agency. So we're just talking about trading dollars for hours, client work, building AI systems, workflows, custom GPTs, and AI agents for companies. This is the easiest because you should do this locally first. So you're not competing with everyone in the world. You live in Boston, or you live in Zurich, or you live in Mexico City, or you live wherever, and you go down the street, and you ask the real estate firm if they need some help with AI, or you ask the the sheet metal shop down the street if they need help with AI, or you ask the private school near you if they need help with AI. A hundred percent, if you do that and you go knock on 10 doors a day, by the end of the first week, I guarantee you'll have a client and they'll pay you a lot. This is the this is for like time input versus dollars, by far the biggest kind of direct payback is you're gonna go charge $5,000 for an AI agent and it's gonna take you two hours of work <laughs> if you're really good at N8N. And if you want to check out NADN, Nate Herc has the best channel on YouTube about NADN. Go check it out, go consume his stuff, and then go sell that kind of concept to clients. Start locally, it's just so much easier. You walk in, hey, I'm Craig, I'm here. I, you know, I do AI stuff, would love to help you out if you have a need, and somebody's gonna say yes. And you charge them a whole bunch of money because they're a business. $5,000 for an AI agent is nothing. You can make 100 grand just doing 20 of those jobs. So I like this a lot. It's trading dollars for hours. I think you have an absolute advantage and if you're local because you're not competing with everyone else online. And it's just not that hard, right? Creating AI agents is not that hard, but most businesses aren't watching videos like this, don't know what AI is and what N8N is and how to do all this stuff, but, but you do. And so that's your competitive advantage and it's really unfair, but you should take advantage of it while you can. Okay, the next one is a niche focus. And so there's a lot of ways to slice this one, but uh, health and wellness is the sphere that I would go into. And I say this because it is probably the most overall defensible kind of area of the economy. So you think about like finance, you know, it's just numbers and bits, right? Uh, technology, sure enough, like bits, right? Claude or ChatGPT or OpenAI is just gonna eat that one day. Um, I saw where Elon Musk created uh, macro hard, right? He's just gonna like have a bunch of agents, build all of Microsoft's technology. So you're like, gosh, like back to the defensibility of software and SaaS, like I, I just don't know. But sure enough, we are people and we need doctors and we need therapists and we need, you know, coaches and consultants and people to help us, you know, with our body and our health and our wellness and our mindset and our spirituality. So, so I think like how you can do this, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but this is, if you want to pick like a vertical health and wellness and augmenting the people in health and wellness with AI tools is a huge win. This might be the biggest magnitude win. You might be like 100 grand, what, 100 grand a month. <laughs> if you get this right, you could be doing 100 grand a month, guaranteed, because this is never gonna go away. Healthcare is always gonna have people, so the defensibility of it is really strong, and I think there's an untapped need there because some parts of medicine are really regulated. 
right? So, so there is that aspect to it. It's like if you get too much into the prescriptive and being involved in patients part of it, you're going to have to be HIPAA compliant and all these kinds of things. But like if you want to look at the magnitude of the opportunity, 100% this is the opportunity for you. Okay, and the last one, but, but stay tuned because like after this, I have, you know, where the puck is going to quote Wayne Gretzky, right? Like we're talking about AI. I have something that is like absolutely going to be the next 10 years after AI. But, but first, the place where I'm putting my bet is on AI consulting and coaching. And I say consulting and coaching because I don't mean agencies. You, you can't hire me to go build an agent for you. You can't hire me to go build an, an N8N workflow for you, but you can hire me to come into your company and say like, hey, we're having this problem. How would you attack this? How would you set us up for success in the AI era? I, I need help with my leadership team getting their mindset right so they can compete over the next five years as AI comes into the mainstream. Y you can hire me for that, but it's because I am a relative expert, right? I've done 71 days in a row of YouTube videos. I run a seven figure business that AI is running a huge part of these days, I've walked the walk, right? So I can talk the talk and I can charge pretty good money to go into companies and advise them on how they should do exactly what I've done already. And so if that's you too, if you're like, hey, I run a, an accountancy and we went from 100 people to 20 people and we're growing double year over year, you can do the same thing in other accountancies. And so this is one I like the most. So this is not a done for you agency, but this is absolutely a, a a consultancy and a coaching product. You are trading dollars for hours, but the dollars you trade are pretty good, trust me. By the way, if you are a business and you need some advising on this, there's a link in the description below to connect with me and we can chat about you know, your specific problems if you need help. Okay, and I wanted to give you the bonus, right? The cherry on top, the thing that honestly gets me out of bed most days rearing to go isn't AI at all, really. It's where AI is going. It's the thing that AI is gonna allow us to do. And honestly, like our lives today are not gonna look at all the same when this hits the mainstream. And I'm talking about robotics. I'm talking about Tesla developing the humanoid robot. I'm talking about self-driving cars. I'm talking about, uh, we are talking about medicine, like uh, robots doing surgery. This, this is where it's going. And it's only because like the, the mechanical parts kind of have been there, but they haven't had a brain that can help them operate more autonomously until now with AI. So AI is unlocking the next huge potential of robotics. Where like, you know, robotics in factories are programmed to, you know, grab this thing off the shelf, put it here and then screw this bit in. But, but they have to be programmed to do exactly that thing. Now, you can give AI to a robot and it can do the laundry and fold the clothes and walk up the stairs and go cook lasagna. And it can do all those things and it will. And it will change everything about how we live. Like I've been, <laughs> I'm 45, but I've been in technology and in business long enough to see this thing. I saw AI come in and I'm like, cool, that, that's great. That transforms all of knowledge work, which is where most of us live, right? Most of us run a SaaS business or own an accountancy or we're lawyers or, you know, we do this thing. Robots are going to transform all of physical work. And so like while I see a lot of my friends in business just in love right now with like brick and mortar, like local service businesses, you know, lawn care companies and commercial cleaners and HVAC and all this kind of stuff. I look at that and I go, one, everyone's flooding into that market. Like that ship has already sailed. The big opportunity has gone there. But sure enough, they are all going to get hosed because robots are going to come in and do that. You're going to have a robot come to your house and do the plumbing. You're going to have a robot come and mow your yard, right? It's not that hard. Right? It's just that we haven't had a thing to drive the machine. And the machine, being the robot, takes different kind of physical forms. But now with AI, we have the ability to put the brain in the machine. And so the so what for you is like if you're – if you have a little bit longer time horizon and you're like, Craig, I don't need to make a hundred grand this year, but I want to make like a hundred million in three years, robotics. Figure out how you can embed yourself in robotics, whether it's starting a YouTube channel, doing a hundred days of robotics, right? Maybe you should do that. And if you do comment down below, I a hundred percent will follow it because that's where I'm spending my free time, right? My free time on YouTube is guys building log cabins, cooking, 
and robotics. And the first two are just to <laughs> give me some peace of mind. The third one is because that's 100% where the puck is going. That's where the future is. AI is gonna play out, and I think it's like relatively on this path. We'll get to AGI probably in the next few years, and that will just like put a bunch of people out of business, and that'll be really sad. But how we live won't be that different because it just is like a better version of the path we're on, I think. Robotics will be like a whole bunch of stuff we can't even imagine today in physical form will be available to us and we'll be using it. And it'll be awesome. So that's my advice for if you're like, hey, I don't want to take the 100 grand next year. I want to take the 100 million in three years. Get on the path of robotics. OK, that wraps us up. If you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, smash the bell. But most importantly, comments down below with what you think is the best path to monetize your kind of AI knowledge and experience. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow.